Hello children, good morning. How are you all? Hope you all are fine at your places. Our today's topic is water cycle. Dear children, water is the only substance on earth that naturally occurs in three forms. Ice, water and water vapors. Ice in the solid state, water in the liquid state and steam or water vapors as gaseous state. To understand this, let's do an activity. We will take few ice cubes in a plate and keep them for half an hour and we will observe that uh, ice cubes have melted and turned into water that is liquid form. Dear children, this change from solid to liquid is called melting. Now, we will put this water in a pan and we are going to heat this. Water will start boiling and you will observe the steam rising up. This is water vapor which is in a gaseous state. This process of converting water from liquid state to the gaseous state is called evaporation. Now we will remove the pan from the fire and cover it with lid. And after few minutes we will lift the lid carefully. Look at the inner side of the lid. We will find the droplets of water. Water vapor when come in contact with cool surface of the lid, it condenses back to the water. And this process is called condensation. Now we will cool the water and we will pour this water in an ice tray and we will keep the tray inside the freezer in a refrigerator. And after few hours, we will take out the tray from freezer and we will find that water has frozen back into the ice that is in the solid state. This process is called freezing. So dear children, what did we observe? We observed that ice melts on heating and water when heated forms water vapor. Water vapors condenses on cooling and turn back into the water. On further cooling, it turns again into the ice. Thus, now we know water changes its forms due to change in temperature. So dear children, this process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form occurs in nature on a large scale. And this is called water cycle. In the water cycle, water from oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes changes into water vapor as it evaporates due to the heat of the sun. These water vapors rise up. As these go very high, they get cooled and condense to form tiny droplets of liquid water. In this way, clouds are formed. As more and more water vapors condense, the drops of water in the clouds get bigger and bigger. Finally, they fall back on the earth as rain. Dear children, a part of rainwater sinks into the ground. Rainwater ka kuch hissa zameen ke niche chala jata hai, jo ki plants or crops apni growth ke liye use karti hai and some of it goes to wells or springs. Most of the rainwater goes back to the rivers and seas. From there, it again gets evaporated by the heat of the sun. The cyclic process of evaporation of water from earth's surface followed by its condensation is called water cycle in nature. Isi ko kehte hai water cycle. Evaporation and followed by condensation. Dear children, transpiration is a process similar to evaporation. Evaporation or transpiration similar processes hai, but transpiration mein water jo hai, it comes from the uh, parts of plants, especially from the leaves. And this transpiration adds to the amount of water vapor present in air. Thus, it also plays a role in cloud formation. Raindrops when just formed are the purest form of water. 
by the time they reach the surface of earth they become impure because they dissolve many harmful gases present in air and also get dust and smoke mixed up with them so dear children hope you have understood about the water cycle this was all for today thanks for watching have a good day